Hey Aquarius, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So, welcome to your spirit monthly messages for the month of September 2020. Yes, um, no long intro. I just want to thank you guys for being patient with me in, <laughs> in getting these readings out for this month. Yeah. All right, Aquarius, I have your pre-shuffle here. And quite frankly, my dear, what I want to tell you is you need to let this devilish energy go. And continue moving on with what your heart's desire is. You have the devil with the knight of cups, the six of swords, and the seven of wands. With the king of wands at the bottom of the deck and then the ace of pentacles under that. So, uh, honestly, Aquarius, honestly, I just want to tell you to move forward with your heart's desire regardless of what someone else might say about it or regardless of how someone else may react towards it. At this point, there really is nothing that you can do for them to make this any different than what it already is. And quite frankly, Aquarius, I feel like there are some people around you that just need to accept it and get over it. Because this is what you want, King of Wands. This is what you want. And you just got to put your blinders on. You've got to keep your boundaries up, Seven of Wands, and just move on. Just move forward. Knight of Cups, seven, a Six of Swords. In some cases, Aquarius, you're moving away from maybe a toxic relationship or a toxic situationship. This could be a toxic family dynamic too. I just feel, uh, Aquarius, I feel like there are people around you that are either toxic or are having a negative reaction to the moves you are trying to make or the direction you're trying to go in in your life okay what's this the knight of swords now yep knight of swords now uh you've got to have a conversation with someone close the situation out lay like lay down the law lay down the facts it is what it is and it might be pretty it might be a pretty confrontational thing you know it might get a little bit aggressive it might you know Tempers may flare, blah, blah, blah. But I just feel like there's something that needs to be aggressively shut down or just something needs to be shut down. All right, Aquarius. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aquarians, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, kids, five shuffles. Let's see what we got here. One. Two. For my Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, this is three. And five. All right, kids. Boop. Overall energy for you, Aquarius. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Philanthropy. Mm. To me, this is screaming your own energy. All right, because Aquarius, you can be a very philanthropic sign. But also what I feel like is happening here is there is a sense of reciprocity or there's a sense of balance between give and take that you are trying to move towards. And you see where that balance of give and take is. And there may be some people that disagree with you in terms of that, but 
either it's none of their business or what how they feel about it is none of your business. Like, you don't have to worry about that. That's that's your opinion. That's how you see it. That's great. Keep in mind, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, right? Underneath the Six of Pentacles is the Three of Cups. Uh, something, something celebratory worthy is here. And I feel like, Aquarius, you're the only one out of your group, out of your friend circle, whatnot, whatever, that really truly sees it that way. But that's fine. No one else has to see it your way. You don't have to see it their way. As long as it has value to you, as long as you can feel what it is, then why does it matter what anyone else has to say about it? Underneath the Three of Cups is the Eight of Swords. And then underneath the Eight of Swords is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Ha. Uh, now, here's the other thing about this Aquarius, because I feel like this Three of Cups could be that hive mind energy that seems to be holding you down or maybe is trying to hold you down somehow. But also, also, I, I, maybe that, that might be more for the past, because I feel like with this Eight of Swords, I really do feel like you have broken out of something, some, some sort of jail... <laughs> I don't know, if a mental prison. I don't know if you were actually in prison, okay. But you've gotten out of that mental state, that mental space, or that situation. And your destiny is changing, or the, the cycle is changing, the karma is changing. You've gotten off that karmic hamster wheel. Maybe you finally learned what reciprocity really truly means to you, and now you're taking action steps towards receiving or achieving that. That's interesting because that's a strong thing that just came through. This could be a situation in which you really have learned what reciprocity would mean for you. And now you're taking the action steps to change your reality in order to receive that. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading. You have oop, the lovers. We could be talking about love. We could be talking about a counterpart situation. I did just hear that. Um, but also the lovers is a ch about a choice. And, and quite frankly, Aquarius, I feel like you are making a choice that is for your highest good. And there could be some people around you that are like, no, we don't agree with this choice. We don't think you should do that. And it's like, okay, thanks for your input. Didn't, I, don't, I don't really remember asking for it, but thanks. Anyway, <laughs> the lovers is coupled with. Well, here you are, Aquarius, the King of Swords. And actually, and, and see, but this is why, this is why some other people don't quite understand or maybe don't quite agree. Because you are it, you are in it, okay? This is your life. You've been in it for X amount of time. And sure, there may have been some people around you that were there with you for most, if not all of that time. But the thing about it is, even though they think they know you or they can say they know you on a certain level and they could say they know what you want or they can say they know how you're thinking, they don't really. They don't. No one really truly knows anything external to them. Like a mother can't even really fully 100% know their own child, her own child. Even though she gave birth to it, him or her, even though... She raised him or her. That, that is still an individual with things within them that only they know about themselves, right? Well, in this situation, Aquarius, you see whatever choice it is that you have to make or that you have made or whatever direction you want to go in, you see it quite clearly for what it is and you see the value in it for your own self. That, don't mean, that doesn't mean other people around you are going to see it. But that also doesn't mean that they have to see it in order for you to make this decision or for in order for you to go in this direction, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Aquarius, we have, okay, the Ace of Pentacles. Very good, you have a brand new opportunity here and I really do feel like you're taking it. You're taking action steps to plant the seed. I like that. I like that, Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, the Five of Cups. So it's, it's as if you've taken a negative situation, a situation that wasn't so good for you, but then you turned it around 
and now you're creating something new for yourself or you're taking the opportunity to create something new for yourself. This Five of Cups energy here, it does not feel like you're really crying over what, what old situation or circumstance has come to the end, has come to an end anymore. You're not, you're not crying about that anymore. There might be a little bit of sorrow, there might be a little bit of anguish, a little pain, but I, what, I've been fo what I feel like the focus is for you in terms of the Five of Cups are the two cups that are standing behind you. I think at this point, Aquarius, you're at the point where you're turning around you're not focused on those three cups that spilled anymore. You're turning around and you're picking those two other two cups up and you're continuing on your journey. I like that. Your challenge in the first half of your reading. Ah, the Ace of Cups now. That's interesting. Because from there, you take these two cups that you have behind you on the five, add this Ace, and that brings you to a three. I think this Ace of Cups is an offer of love. Ace of Cups is coupled with the Empress. Okay, so this is, a, is the, uh, you could face a challenge of offering a cup of love to a feminine figure. Someone that maybe, uh, uh, Someone that maybe represents the divine feminine to your divine masculine or, or, or the feminine to your masculine. Whether, whether you want to put divine in front of it or not, I don't give a shit. <laughs> okay. Um, your challenge could be to be offering this cup of love to this individual. But also the challenge here for you, Aquarius, could be, and this is a little strange. This doesn't feel like it fully fits, but maybe it's a... Well, maybe you'll understand what it means for yourself. This is a general reading, but maybe this is just for a small amount of you. But your challenge right now is to hold unconditional... Ah! Is to hold unconditional love for yourself. And in holding unconditional love for yourself, that will give you the, opera, the strength, the wherewithal that you need to make this decision, stick with this decision, and not let anyone deter you because you see this opportunity for exactly what it is, Aquarius. No one else sees it like you do, and no one else has to because it's not their opportunity. It's yours. I just heard, so take that and run with it. <laughs> okay. Your, uh, the closing message or potential outcome here for you, Aquarius, in the first half of your reading... Ah, the star. That's you, Aquarius. So you've shown up twice in your reading, right? Yeah, the star is Aquarius. Uh, what I want to say with this, Aquarius, is dreams do come true. You just have to follow your intuition and not let the naysayers stay, hold you back. The star is coupled with... Oh, the Queen of Cups. How do you feel about it, Aquarius? All right, all right, cool. Drop all this madness about what everybody else is telling you about how to feel in this situation or how to act in this situation or how to work in this situation. What do you feel about it? What do you want to do about it? How do you want to engage with this, Queen of Cups? How do you feel about it? And if there are people around you that are saying to you, man or girl, this is a bad idea, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why you think you're doing this, but hey, like whatever, it's not my issue. It's not my life. It's not my problem. No, you're right. It's not. And quite frankly, I feel much different about it than you. So I'm going to go by my intuition. But thank you for your input. Okay, Aquarius. Well, I'm going to leave it there for now, and I'm going to go into part two, which is going to be over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Uh, if you're not there yet, I highly recommend that you get in on it because it's great. Lots of good stuff there already, plus more coming, yeah? Um, also, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can do that by sending me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the information for both Patreon and getting a personal reading can be found in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month 
and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Cool. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>